pervasive developmental disorder. I'm going to talk about a child that we were able to help tremendously with a program. This was a letter just sent to me by the parents. This letter is long overdue but needed to be written regarding our son and your treatment of him over the past 13 years. As you recall, we brought him to you for an initial consultation when he was five years old. Although not formally diagnosed with a specific condition, he was given the broad label of pervasive developmental disorder not otherwise specified. That in itself is, is a diagnosis. His condition consisted of speech and motor delays, partly due to a slower development of his spine. Further, he was placed on an IEP in pre-K, which carried through grammar school. We mutually agreed with you on a course of chiropractic treatments, which included chiropractic treatment, exercises, fish oil, and other supplements. Chiropractic treatment, exercises, fish oil, and other supplements. More on that in a minute. These treatments were adjusted based on his progress and continued over 10 years. Through these treatments, we were able to see a marked improvement in his condition. His academic performance was top of his class. His teachers worked with him to continue to advance his progress via the IEP. Since high school, he has taken up weight training and bodybuilding and is at the gym six days a week. So where are we now? This past May in 2019, he graduated from the St. John's Prep in Danvers. He was advanced placement classes for his junior and senior year and was inducted into the National Honor Society. Last Friday, we moved in into his dorm room at UConn Honors College. He's majoring in biology with a minor in economics. That's impressive. He also received an academic scholarship for his high school performance. Thank you for all of you have done on behalf of him to get him to this point in his life. I still get goosebumps when I read that letter. I've read it a whole bunch of times in the past 10 days, and that was just really spectacular. And thank you for sending in that letter. It really gives me the inspiration and motivation to keep on doing what I'm doing and what all the practitioners around me are doing and what were all the people that have done before me to teach me a lot of these techniques and methods in this situation. So I've talked a lot, a lot about children with, with motor and speech and cognitive issues and so forth. And we put together a program of things, which I mentioned in this, which were mentioned very nicely in this letter, that talk about the foundation of, of this program. Chiropractic treatment, exercises, which means specific coordination, cerebellar-based cognitive building exercises, improvements in diet, brain building supplements, chiropractic, exercise, changes in diet, specific brain building supplements. Do you get it? Do you get it? You have to do this as a program. I've had kids brought to me, we'll do the chiropractic things, sometimes great improvements, sometimes not and I'll touch on the other things and those aren't really being done and we're going to sometimes have livid improvements. Some kids, their parents have already engaged and studied and researched and tried and they're doing the nutrition changes and these supplements and getting physical exercise. When they added the chiropractic, it was the missing piece for them. Some people are doing the chiropractic, maybe in another office, not with me. They'll watch my programs here on, on the cable television show and on, on YouTube, and they start to learn about these other things. Okay, I need to be doing the supplement things. We need to all change our diet in the household. Let's get more coordination-based exercises as well, not just running around the block, although that's wonderful, right? But maybe we're going to be doing jump rope and ping pong and balance board and balance beam exercises and so forth to build that cerebellum which fires the cortex and get those nerve circuits rebuilt. How does chiropractic work? Chiropractic is harnessing those very powerful nerve endings buried in and around the tissues of your spine stimulating and activating those nerve impulses which turns up the electricity in the brain to allow these connection systems to form and grow in the brain. If we're slowing brain development, 
with a, a sad diet, the standard American diet, full of processed foods and sugar and high fructose corn syrup, sport drinks, juice, soda, diet soda, take the, take the litter off of diet and, and you understand what's happening with that type of soda and those foods. We've got to get the kids away from that and move them toward real food. And when that is, is done, a lot of people find great things. I've read you stories of where parents will just take kids away from foods with food colorings and additives and major things uh, get better as well because it's just not activating and firing the immune system and causing havoc in the brain. Just general physical exercise can do it. Getting the technology away from the kids sooner in the evening and sooner in their lives so they're used to it later on, try to take it away later on is very difficult. Getting the technology away, getting them to bed earlier, making sure they're drinking enough water, and of course the brain building supplements, this whole list of them, omega-3 fish oil, uh, antioxidant vitamin and mineral complexes, definitely some vitamin D, rebuilding the gut. If any of the kids have ever been on antibiotics, and most of them have been, we've got to rebuild that gut, the positive gut flora with fermented foods and probiotics and prebiotics and so forth. Just adding these things in, give the kids the best opportunity to become the best version of themselves. I'm Dr. Scott Fuller.